All right, all right, all right. What's up? What's good? What's going on? Welcome to the War Zone. Once again, here we are with UFC. Curtis Blades versus Chris Dawkins. So what we're going to do, man, we, we're going to do some uh, brief breakdowns and predictions. Uh, we're going to start with the prelims and work our way all the way up to the main card. So, uh, without uh, further ado, let's get into it. All right, people. So, first up in the men's featherweight division, we have Luis Saldana against Bruno Silva. So, I'm going to have to go with Bruno Silva in this one, man. Um, he's an ov overall better fighter, man. I think um, definitely has a grappling edge. Um, Luis Saldana has suspect uh, takedown defense. Um, I think he's going to slow down as this fight goes on. Um, and I just I just think that Bruno Silva's uh, going to be too much for him, man. I think he's going to be scrappier, and I think uh, that he grinds a way to find a way to win. So I got Bruno Sousa by split decision, 29 to 28. All right. Next up. In the men's flyweight division, we've got Matthias Nikolaou against David Dvorak. Um, wow, this is going to be uh, a really close one here, man. Um, this is a pick 'em fight, people. Um, and I mean, you can go either way in this one. I believe that um, Nikolaou is is a, is a live dog. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to you, man, um, to, to actually make this pick, but I'm going to tell you who I'm going to pick. Um, now Matthias Nicolau, I think he has the grappling edge. Um, I think he can wear down Dvorak as this fight goes on. Um, he's fought the better competition and he's been more active fighter. David Dvorak, um, he fought last May. Uh, winnable fight for him, but I'm going to give the edge to Matthias Nicolau to pull it out in a close one, 29 to 28. Next up in the women's flyweight division, we have Jennifer Maya against Marion Fer Fer Ferio. Um... I'm going to have to go with Marion Ferriot to pull this one out, man. Um, I think she has, uh, she has great takedown defense. Um, this girl has power. She's stronger, um, bigger, more of a threat. Jennifer Maya is tough, gritty. She has grappling as well, but she's, she's the older fighter here. And I think Marion uh, Ferriot, um, has uh, the momentum right now she's younger and I think she'll find a way to get it done so I'm going to have to go with Mary for uh, Furio uh, by unanimous decision um, 30 to 27 all right next up men's middleweight division we have Ali Aksha Kizriev against Dennis Tululin. Um, I'm going to have to go with Kizriev, man, in this one, man. Uh, solid uh, fighter. Um, and I believe that uh, all he has to do is basically get past the first round with uh, uh, Dennis Tululin. Dennis Tululin does have um, KO power, but he's fought a lot of cans. Um, so I expect his rehab man to, uh, get it done, man. Uh, he's fought the better competition, man. I think he's the better overall fighter. Uh, I think he gets it, um, done via, uh, third round sub submission. 
So I got kids re up in this one, man, via third round submission. All right, people. Next up in the men's bantamweight division, we have uh, Chris Gutierrez against Dana Batgaral. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with uh, Dana Batgaral in this one, man. Um, Chris Gutierrez, man, uh, he's been in too many close fights with, uh, I believe, um, lesser lesser uh, opponents, man. Um, he has subpar striking. Um, I don't really like his overall game, man. There's nothing really that stands out about uh, Chris Gutierrez. Um, Dana Bacarral, though, man, has the power advantage. Um, this guy is uh, this is a different fighter, man. Um, I think as this fight goes on, man, he's going to catch Gutierrez, man. Um, and and when I say power, um, Bacarau has power. He will put you to sleep. And I think he gets a chance to do that. And I think he wins via KO in the second round. All right. Next up, we have women's bantamweight division. We've got Sarah McCann against Carol Rosa I'm gonna go with Carol Rosa in this one man I'm gonna give her the edge uh, solid fighter uh, younger um, I expect her to outwork Sarah McMahon in this one uh, you gotta realize people Sarah McMahon is 41 years old um, she can grapple but uh, she's coming off a long long layoff I don't know how much she really has in the tank um, I don't know what um, Sarah McMahon we're going to see um, Carol Rosa is giving up um, one inch um, height advantage but she has a one inch reach advantage I think Carol Rosa is just solid enough to get it done I'm going to take um, Carol Rosa to win this 29 to 28 All right, next up, men's welterweight division. We've got Neil Magny against Max Griffin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, Neil Magny in this one, man. More experience. I think he's uh, more well-rounded. He has more tools in the toolbox, more technical. Um, I trust him to uh, find a way to, to win this. Uh, Max Griffin, though, um, very solid. Um, good underdog to take, people. Um, here's another dog that I think... Um, would be great uh, to take on this card, man. Um, he's had some really close fights, though, with some with some people I thought he should have clearly beat more decisively. But at the same time, man, Max Griffin is no slouch. I just think Neil Magny just is. Um, I think that experience is 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 what's going to be the difference in this fight. So I got Neil uh, Magny winning this one, twenty nine to twenty eight. All right, next up in the men's lightweight division, we've got uh, Mark Ducasey against, let me let me pronounce this right, people, now. Um, Vyacheslav Borshev. Mark Ducasey against Vyacheslav Borshev. I'm going to go with Vyacheslav Borshev, man. Um, um, this guy has great takedown defense. Um, I think uh, he, he does a great job of wearing his opponents down. Um, as the fight goes on, he's a better striker in the pocket. Um, this guy does have power. Uh, Ducasey, suspect chin. Uh, he's been in a lot of wars, man. I think this is going to be a firefight. But I think Borshev is going to be too much. So I got uh, Borshev. I, I, I can see Borshev um, ending this fight late in the second round, early third round via, via KO. All right, next up, men's heavyweight division. We've got Alir Latifi against Alexei Olenek. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to go with um, Elia Latifi, man. Uh, he beat Tanner Bolser in his last fight. Um, uh, he's got solid grappling, uh, takedown defense. Uh, this guy's got killer knee game, man. Um, Alexi Olenek. Alexi Olenek, man, is, is over the hill, people. I mean, um, all you have to do is just look at his record. 59 and 16 and 1. Um, this guy's been around forever, man. Um, but he's taking some major major damage in his career um wow lost lost a decision his last fight to speed rock um i just uh, uh hmm. i i don't i don't see what he has left man i mean um the older Olenek we all know man was a beast on the ground man this guy will get you down and choke you out but I just think Alir Latifi is uh, too strong too young and I look for him to um, I think for Ol Olenek is going to um, drag this fight out I think it's going to go to the decision I got Alir Latifi 29 to 28 all right moving on next up men's flyweight division people i believe that this is going to be the fight of the night we've got askar askarov against kaikara france wow people whoa straight up live dog in this one is kaikara france if you want to take a serious live dog you want to go with kaikara france um wow so ask our ask her off um this guy can grapple um i kind of give him a slight edge but not really <laughs> uh he's gonna have to outwork uh kyra kyra france as we all know kyra kyra france has great footwork man takedown defense jiu-jitsu better hands uh, you know what, man? Let me let me go out on the limb, man. Kyle Carl of France gets this one done. Um, and I think he edges this fight out 29 to 28 for Kyle Carl of France. All right. Next up, men's welterweight division. We've got Mac, Matt Brown against Brian Barbarina. I'm going to go with Matt Brown in this one, man. It's going to be a close one. I think it's going to be a, a really tough fight. But Matt Brown, I just think is just, uh, he's too much. Matt Brown, he can take you down when he needs to, man. Um, very dangerous fighter. Um, he's got the momentum, I think, right now. Um, he's very patient. Um, and I think his power is going to be the difference. Brian Barberina, he, he gets caught uh he has a tendency to get caught and um, a tendency to slow down as the fight goes on. Uh, so I'm going to trust Matt Brown, man, to uh, win this fight via TKO in the second round. All right, next up, women's flyweight division. We have Joanne Wood, Calderwood, against Alexi Grasso. I'm going to have to go with Alexa Grasso, man. Um, she's more technical. Uh, I love her footwork. She has a great chin. Um, Joanne Calderwood, man. Um, coming off a KO loss, man. Um, I think she's coming back too soon. Um, she is known to throw more, more volume. But I think... Um, Alexa Grasso will land the more educated strikes. So um, I'm going to have to go with Alexa Grasso. I think Alexa Grasso, man, can actually get this fight to the ground, man. And um, so I'm going to call this one a late second round submission win for Alexa Grasso. all right people here we go with the
men's heavyweight division in the main event of the evening, Curtis Blades against Chris Dawkins. Well, I was kind of stuck on this one, but I made up my mind, man. I'm going to have to go with Curtis Blades. Uh, more athletic, uh, better grappler, better wrestler. Um, I think his takedowns uh, will wear a Chris Stalkis down because I believe he will get him down at some point in this fight. Um, however, Chris Stalkis is dangerous. Um, he has power. He has uh, fast hands. Um, but I think Curtis Blades has uh, learned his lessons, man. And I think that he's going to come out and uh, be a lot more patient, man. Uh, be a more, more calculated, man. And uh, and I think what he'll do, rather than rushing in with his head down to take down, I think he'll pin Dawkins against defense, man. And uh, shoot for the double leg from there. Uh, like I said, I, I'm confident that he will get this fight to the ground. And I am going to predict that Curtis Blades uh, gets Chris Dawkins out of there, man, uh, in the third round. I uh, got uh, Curtis Blades via submission, submission uh, via rear naked choke in the third round. All right, people. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit the bell icon for notifications uh, check out my Warzone MMA Fantasy League you'll find the link at the top of the description uh, come join us man and uh, join our league man there'll be prizes man we'll be playing for bragging rights status and the whole nine man come on over and check us out on Facebook uh, but anyway man uh, once again Peace and blessings to all, and I'm out.